Hello everyone, this is your host Apne Rathati and welcome to Inspiria TV podcast. Today we have a very special guest with us. Would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah. Hello, my name is Anil Philip and I'm the coordinator for BBA Global. And thank you very much for having me. Hi everyone, I am Payal K and I am the faculty from Fashion Design Department. Thank you for having me today here. So uh, today we have the very special topic here, uh, which we don't normally talk about or which we don't feel like talking about. So uh, it's a topic. The topic is mental health issues, which uh, most of the youngster usually face it. So uh, what are your point of view on it? Like, uh, do you think only the youngster face it or the adults are or even the adults are getting like this kind of things? Uh, I'll take this question first then. Eh? Uh, definitely it's, I mean, uh, depression can go happen at any age, uh, usually, but usually after you find them only after when you're, once you're in your teenager, you know, uh, that age group, then to probably around till adulthood, it can happen at any time. And, uh, you know, uh, so the thing about it, about it with youngsters is usually they don't want to mention it out because probably because of the stigma that is attached to it, you know. Uh, but otherwise it is there, it's definitely prevalent and now it's kind of increasing because of the amount of stress and the lifestyle choices that people make. It definitely is a, you know, a topic to discuss and I'm glad that you came out with this topic. So, uh, do you think like uh, society or like in general society plays a vital role in like bringing up like you don't want to speak about it as like I was once uh, a patient like uh, of mental health I was suffering from mental health problem so I don't want to speak about it because like it feels like someone is going to judge me right? correct of course and so do you think like uh, society plays a vital role on like uh, not keeping that uh, person uh, in very closed space or something like that I agree society plays a huge role so not only society the culture also that you come from it plays a huge role because yes. some societies and cultures look at your if you come and tell out that you have a mental health problem they see it as a weakness they do, and you know and you're and then you also have the fear that it will come out and people will judge you for that you might lose some benefits you know or some person relationships might get broken down because of such revelations so yes it is definitely society and culture plays a huge role and it is our duty to you know educate the society to bring about this uh, you know awareness camps or uh, some kind of awareness to the society as well that these uh, things do exist and it can happen to anyone and everyone. Okay, so I would like to ask you ma'am, uh, yes. like, what can be done to prevent these kind of uh, situations like uh, as a normal person, uh, there's huge difference between like the person facing this kind of situations and like the person who is normal, right? So what kind uh, of initiative that we can take uh, to ease that person who is going to mental health issues and all. So, what are your thoughts on it? Okay, so from my point of view, my perspective, I would like to say that uh, I have been coming across some, some of my friends who have been not feeling very well about sharing whatever is going uh, and happening into their lives at the moment, even if it's like they are falling apart, they are not ready to talk about it. And sometimes it is very easy for somebody who is already aware to know the symptoms. So because I have read psychology, uh, so I can understand the symptoms and I try to talk to people and I encourage everybody to talk, mm. uh, whoever they are comfortable with. It can be anybody, their mentor, their uh, family person somebody from the family their friends anyone they find the comfort in and the first thing that they should be doing is to share whatever they are feeling me that may be very crazy to be sounding you know to i don't know when i mean like uh, it might sound very crazy. not at all not at all ma'am yeah Just but like they feel mm. that it might sound very crazy but if they want they should be talking to others and express whatever they are feeling and that is the first step that we can do and uh, the one who has been listening to all of this should obviously direct them to seek help to seek therapy and should help them with uh, reaching out whatever they can help in a way so that they should not feel ashamed of looking for some therapy because so many people they feel that uh, 
if we are going for a therapy it means maybe somehow we are crazy mm-hmm. so that is what we yeah. should be doing that is usually the word attached like you know there's a bit of uh, you that is insane mm-hmm. you know and that should not be the case okay so uh, i just wanted to as you said like uh, we should reach out to people right so um, i would uh, like to talk about my experience like what i have been through and like how i over- i just came out of it so uh, there was this scenario where like i was trying to seek for help so uh, and i get uh, i just got into that position where i was like no no they are not listening to me like where i was feeling that like you know they they will just say tell me that just go outside hang out with your friends like it's going to be okay yes. it's going to be fine right so i just wanted to bring this up like uh, to the viewers like just listen to them like just listen to them and give uh, that gives them a breathing space so that they can think about it and if someone listens to them and underst- you it's not necessary that you don't uh, you have to understand right yes. it's not necessary you don't uh, have to understand that what he is he or she is going through just listen to them it gives uh, them a uh, breathing time to think about it and to ease themselves so my next question is now if i can put my two cents over yeah, here sure. two things that you both said are very key over here one is that you know that uh, you need to listen and secondly you need to find a person who you are comfortable with uh, so the other thing is like you know the people who are listening they have to understand the fact that when a person comes and tells them that it means that they are comfortable with you right mm-hmm. and that yeah. means you know and that's the time when you have to give your undue you know un, i mean uh, unfiltered attention to them so that they can open up and tell them because they are comfortable with you and if they do coming up then like you said listen just listen yeah and there is this cynic situation like uh, if you you know like uh, where you get into that position uh, where you feel like everything is negative around you right so what are your thoughts and what you can like just suggest to them like what they can do to prevent all this kind of suicidal thoughts you say okay so i have a very uh, personal experience of my friend who was very happy happy go lucky in life and he would call every other day to talk about whatever is happening in his life and then suddenly there was this change of his behavior where he went very quiet and he started you know saying okay you having fun nice life good luck with your life do good and i am my life is just going you know very bad i don't think i want to live and uh, there was this panic situation among all of our gr- friend groups because he did not uh, say this to other friends in the group he just told me he is quite uh, close to me so then i was alarmed and i told all of my friends that he's been telling me all of these stuff and what do you all think what should we do because i think we have to talk it out to him mm. and uh, actually it is somehow the mental space where it becomes a situation that the person is not able to see anything positive around them even if you know if it's uh, if the person is in a very dry place and it's very summery and if it rains suddenly just to feel you know the weather is good they might feel the way that okay fine it's raining i can't even go about my day now mm. that's how they will be feeling so i feel at that point yeah yeah, yeah. they won't find anything positive in whatever is happening in their life and they will look at others life and they will always compare and they will think that their life is so b- much better than mine and uh, at that moment uh, i think i just uh had a talk to that person that friend of mine and i told him that uh, maybe you know whatever you're thinking is very wrong you're not trying to see the positive in the situation mm-hmm. and uh, to you know i asked him to trust me uh and whatever i'm trying to make him understand is the situation so because there is so much of so much lack of awareness about mental health sometimes people just think that they are just sad and going outside will make them happy they will feel better again mm-hmm. maybe that that can be a therapy but yeah. when you know it depends on the stage of your depression where if it's very serious they have to go to the uh, you know therapist where they can uh, 
know some of the measures where they are told medically they have been suggested to do some of the things some of the exercises in life which helps Mm. and that's where i think it's important to understand uh, the difference between sadness and depression yeah, like exactly. you know i was about to talk about it like yeah. uh, as you mentioned it, uh, there's yeah. a difference between feeling sad and being uh, like depressed correct so uh, sadness is something that happens uh, over the period of time or like just for the just for the time being yeah temporary okay? so and depression is this thing that you have created your, the sabotage of yourself mm-hmm. and you just want to show people that you are happy just because you don't want to uh, put up that depression part in some others mm-hmm. head space mm-hmm. right so yeah that, that makes, makes the difference like sadness and uh, and people get very confused about it because there is a very thin line mm-hmm. yes that uh, borders it yeah um, there is a thin line but then it also you know uh, there is a difference in such a way that you know in with sadness you don't necessarily you know lose the uh, your way of functioning you yes. still go about your daily yes. task and all but by, when you're depressed you might not be even be willing to do those daily tasks you don't want to it definitely changes the way you function the, your ability to you know uh, learn to motivate yourself all that goes down and that takes a long time to change over if you don't realize that you are in depression and that's why it's very important to talk and to educate yourself that see i am going through a problem i need help and let me just talk to somebody first and let's see what he or she thinks about it then maybe i can go for professional help because you need a combination of uh, you know uh, so remedies because, yeah yes. so maybe it's uh, <coughs> psychotherapy or maybe it's medication, medication maybe it's counseling we don't know what it is but possibly the experts can give you that but you need a combination of all this and uh, as you mentioned it like uh, i just want to put this thing up like whenever you feel like to the viewers like whenever you feel this way please speak to someone like please i i just wanted to make this podcast or like i just wanted to create this po- podcast because of this thing because i want to uh, let viewers know that like you are not the on- only you're one not like, yeah, you're, you're not alone. alone you are not the only one who's facing it mm. you can come up like you can trust people who are close to you and like as sir said like there there were times when i used to feel like it was drained from mm. within like mm. i i couldn't even like stand up and get to the kitchen to eat right mm. so sometimes it's okay to be not okay like kind of <laughs> phrase there there's a, yeah there's a phrase okay. so lastly i would like to conclude this by asking you uh, what are your final inputs in this like so message to the entire youth who is facing uh, this kind of problems and so like we discussed over here we can all agree that the first thing you have to do is uh, you know uh, get somebody to listen to you and uh, get to know that you have a problem and the third thing that i want to say is you're not alone we've all gone through one, one stage in our life or some stages in our life we all go through depression Uh, it can be short lived and it can, some can uh, be of longer duration and that's when you have to be careful about it and this uh, some and the last and final thing is uh, is to the society as such i mean you know you need to accept people as they are uh, rather than look for you know certain uh, th- uh, behaviors or certain characteristics that only you or some people like and you need to accept everybody as they are and uh, that will make people also feel better inside and possibly these kind of depressions might not even happen in the first place Yes. Uh I think I would like to add that um in life we all have that one friend mm. one close person whom we share everything with and the moment you feel like you're not able to tell them also how you're functioning how you're going about your day I think that is the situation where you should be knowing that you're not sad yeah, yeah, you're yeah. You're, you're you're having something more than sadness mm. and um, I think Gen Z millennials are in the era sir where there is a lot of awareness of, about uh, depression and a uh, lot of celebrities have also talked about it at international and national uh, stages and uh, somehow even the people who are very old uh, right now like our parents they are also trying to understand that okay there is a difference between depression and being somebody who is insane so somehow this acceptance and awareness is uh, just gripping the uh, 
all the ropes and ropes of hope and i think that uh, talking to somebody and uh, making uh, someone listen to whatever you feel like is very important and uh, try to be aware about it if you know somebody is going through it please help them or else if you feel you need help please do not judge yourself or anybody else and mm, go and seek important. the help so so guys here we come to the end of the show so thank you for joining us ma'am thank you sir so, and uh, i would like to end this podcast and hope to see you in the next video